Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a great post-workout stretch for you guys. So grab a mat and let's get ready. Stretch your leg out in front of you, bending the other one, and bring your head as close as you can to your shin. Holding for 15 to 20 seconds or just follow me and everything I, that I do. Now flex your foot and keep holding here. This is a follow through tutorial so you can hold the positions longer or you can just follow me. Now bend your leg behind you. You can go down with your body all the way but I choose to stay up. Now you can kind of dance with the music if you're playing any. I was. <laughs> Good, now come for half split, stretching the leg in front of you. Toe is pointed, and now let's flex. Okay, we're gonna come for a split soon after, and if it's too hard for you, just stay in the half split, it's okay. But if you're ready for a split, go for it. Again, we're gonna go down with our head, pointing the toe. And soon after, we're gonna flex the foot, still our head down. Good, keep holding. Now bring both feet and legs in front of you for a forward bend. If you cannot go all the way down, it's perfectly fine. Just keep trying your best. Now flex your feet, holding the position. You can wrap your hands around your feet if you find that this is way too easy. Good, now slowly up. And we're gonna do everything all on the other side. So stretch your leg forward, toe is pointed. Now we're gonna flex our foot, holding the position still. And we're gonna slowly come up, bending our leg back. And like I said before, you can go all the way down with your body or stay up like me. Breathing deeply in each position, trying to release everything so you can get the fullest out of each position. Good, now stretch your leg forward, bending down. Get your hair out of the way, if it's in your face. Good, keep holding and flex your foot. Good, slowly up and come to split, pointing the toe first and down. Now flex your foot. Good, keep holding. And let's come for a forward bend. Bending from the waist, not your back. So no slouching. If you cannot get all the way down, try to pulse and try your best to get there. Good, let's go slowly down. We're gonna grab one knee and now we're gonna come for a hamstring stretch. Now, if you're as advanced as I am, you can hold your leg from your foot or if you're a little bit less advanced, then hold it from the calf. You can also pulse here in this position, trying to make the movement a little bit bigger each time. Good, now we're gonna bend the top leg over the knee. We're just gonna bring it as close as we can to ourselves. This is a really good stretch for the hips. Keep holding, trying to relax in each position. 
And now we're gonna grab that knee again, just move it around, relaxing the hip. And we're gonna come for a spinal stretch. Head is going in the opposite direction and your shoulder is on the ground. Good. Let's grab the other knee and come for a hamstring stretch again. If you feel you need to bend the free leg, do so. Good, now pulse it out. Good, feel that stretch. And let's bend that knee and let's come for that hip opening stretch. Keep holding. Good. Now we're gonna grab our knee soon. We're gonna come for another spinal stretch on the other side. Like I said before, shoulder is on the floor and your head is in the opposite direction. Don't worry about your knee being too high. It's okay. It's all about the shoulders being on the ground. Grab your knee. And now we're gonna come and come to a bridge position. Just holding here, relaxing the lower back. So we don't hold any tension in our back anymore. Good, just keep holding. It doesn't need to be too high. And lower down. And we're gonna, we're gonna come up and we're gonna come for some back stretches. Just rolling in, making a C with our back and then elongating our back back up. And let's repeat. Good. Stretch up. Release everything in your back. Release all that tension. And relax back up. And now we're going to come and bring our knee in and stretch for a half twist. Good. Twist positions are so great for your indigestion and it's great for detoxing. So let's come for the other side. Head is nice and up. So we're not looking down, trying to open our shoulders. Now come forward and let's come for a quick crisscross and go down and we're gonna move side to side just relaxing everything in the hips come slowly up and switch the legs and again back down rock side to side come slowly up again and let's stretch our arms If you've been doing a lot of arm exercises, this is great to elongate your arms and prevent sore muscles the next day. So let's switch to the other side. Now we're gonna stretch our neck to the side, releasing any tension in our shoulders and our neck. And we'll do this all on the other side as well. For some half circles our last movement and last stretch i hope you guys enjoyed that and i'll see you in my next video